mean, you mentioned this idea of um, trying to think about good non-anthropocentrically. Mm. What, what does that mean? I mean, it, if we think about morality as a kind of structure that humans have imposed so on I would, the world, I would, what I would, would um, pick up from Michel Serre's use of grace. <coughs> I think that, um, that the, the, the human devastation of the world would be well to stop aligning good with action and bad with passivity or apathy. Um, and I think that, you know, binary thinking in general is problematic, but grace is lovely because it is the goodness in stepping aside. And in modern forms of activism, goodness can often come um, as acts of boycott, um, but historically, goodness has come through a sense of hoped for grace where we simply allow the other to be without demanding knowledge of the other, without demanding the other come up to our anthropocentric level of equivalence. So for me, maybe there, there is a deep unknowability in good that is attractive because it's difficult, but also demands a very artistic perception of practice. Um, and so in that sense, I think it's very sexy because it's mystical, you know, it verges on mystical. So, yeah. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.